Hello, my name is Arab. I would like to talk to you today about the hypocrisy of the West when it comes to promoting democracy in the Arab world. We hear often the Europeans, the American complaining about the lack of democracy in the Arab world, which is true. And I remember a few years ago, the Secretary of State, Dr. Rice, said it publicly that it's time we should do something about promoting democracy in the Arab world. And she admitted that America for the last 60 years been, if you like, promoting stability in the Arab world rather than trying to promote democracy in the Arab world. And she said it's time that we should do something about it. And as you remember, she put a pressure on Mr. Abbas, the president of Palestinian Authority, and she told him it's time that you should have free election. And he had no choice. The American and the European sent observer to watch the election in Palestine. And one of them, a prominent person, Mr. Jimmy Carter, the ex-president of the United States of America. After the election, he declared publicly that the election was free. There was no interference from the government of Palestinian Authority or from the, from the press. Uh, it was fair, and everyone being given a free choice. And as you are aware, the Hamas party won the election. And for the first time, as an Arab, for, a star, for the first time I heard that an ex-Prime Minister of Palestinian Authority saying or admitting publicly that his party, Fatah, lost the election and Hamas won a majority in the parliament and he said that he is going to the president to present his resignation and ask him to ask Mr. Ismail Haniyeh, the leader of Hamas, to form a new government, which in my opinion is the right thing to do. And what happened? What was the reaction of the West? Now we hear Mr. Bush saying, no, we are not going to negotiate with a terrorist organization, which is, is, is wrong in my opinion. The Palestinians have the right to choose their own government. And Mr. Bush has no choice but to accept the new government because it's democratic. To me, uh, Mr. Bush made a big mistake. In my opinion, he should have come to Palestine and shake hands with Mr. Smail Haniya, the Prime Minister, and congratulate him for winning a free election for the first time. And he should look at the camera like me and point the finger at the Arab leader. And Mr. Bush should tell them, look what the Palestinians done. You should allow your own people. I'm talking about the president of Egypt, Hosni Mubarak. I'm talking about the president of Tunisia, Ben Ali. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about all the Arab dictators. Mr. Bush should tell them that you should allow your own people to choose free government. We know in Arab countries, it's the regime which choose the government, not not the people. And that's the right thing to do. Unfortunately, what Mr. Bush done is he said, no, we are not going to negotiate with Hamas. And that's, in my opinion, uh, a negative answer. He should come to Palestine and he should talk face to face to Mr. Smile Haniya, and he should tell him you have to be pragmatic, you have to negotiate with uh, Israel, and he shouldn't put condition 
it's not good for uh, the West to put condition on Hamas, and it's not good for Hamas to put condition on Israel. I think we should leave condition apart, and the Palestinian and the Israelis should negotiate face to face uh, in order to solve the Palestinian problem. And thank you for listening.